Good day. My name is Pete Coughlin. I'm director of the Maine Local Road Center in the great state of Maine. And my assistant here is... Robert Stevens. I'm the technician for Maine Local Road Center. And Bobby and I have been working with the Local Road Center for, what, Bob, 30 years or something? Yeah, 25 probably, years? Yeah. I can't remember Since what. 87. We lose track. But today we're going to talk to you about the importance of compaction around culverts that you put in the ground. Could be as simple as a cross culvert that you uh, need to replace in your town. And we're gonna, we've got a demonstration here we're going to show you which is about uh, the importance of compaction around the pipes. Um, typical practice, and it's not, you don't have to go too far to see that when people replace a culvert they'll simply go in and excavate the pipe out of the ground and they'll buy a new pipe and put it in, be it plastic or metal, and may or may not do any compaction basically put the backfill back in, um, maybe roll some equipment over a little bit, the backhoe of the loader, and then uh, walk away. And the point here is that the stress from traffic and loads coming over it from, uh, from vehicles uh, has an impact on the pipe itself. What we're trying to show here is where the stress from vehicles should be placed, and that's on the soil around the pipe, which then leads to the importance of why you should compact your material and your backfill around the pipe as you go. So we've got a demonstration here today. We're going to run you two versions. The first one is um, we've got a, a simple little pipe here. And this is nothing more than a uh, flue pipe that we went down to the hardware store. It's pretty thin gauge. Um, we had to use some duct tape here, of course, just to hold it together. Uh, but this is about as flimsy as you can get. This is our so-called culvert. And we put it in this little box. We already put a little material down in the bottom. This is to simulate our trench. And we're about to backfill this by simply throwing some gravel on top of it. And uh, I'm going to put a little pressure on it. And we'll see what happens to the pipe. So, Bob, we're ready to backfill yep. with a little bit of dirt. OK, you get the cup over there. I'll take one, you take one. And we're just going to start. Back filling around the pipe. Now, typically, we'd want to do it as evenly as we can on each side. So, Bob, why don't you put yours in there, spread it out a little bit? dusty here but I'm just gonna for the heck of it smooth it out pound it a little bit here the yeah. that's for stage two when we really <laughs> want to do some compaction all right I'm the excavator you can be the, the level man in fact right let's just do bit. this Bob I mean, how they really do it. Yeah, we'll just... <laughs> How's that? Well, let's put a little more in there just to... Yeah, we'll, need some more on the top. we'll just dump it right in. Even that right up. Okay. So we've got the pipe in the ground. And we throw a little cold patch on maybe just to patch the pipe up. But here's what happens when you put a little pressure on the pipe. And I could use my hand, but I'm just going to try this with my foot. And I'm just going to gently push. Bob, come here. I need to, need to lean on you. I don't want to break the glass. But here's, here's the motion of traffic going over it. And you can see where the weight is going. Now, if I push, I don't want to break the glass, but it is crushed. It is crushed, yeah, it's crushed right in. I can't even tell from up here, but it doesn't take a whole lot to push that. And obviously, it's a flimsy pipe. We can see. Wow, so I really did a number on that. Yeah, you can see right there. And it's not that when you have your pipe out in the ground out there that it's going to look like this. But the point here is that if you don't compact, where is all the stress, in this case from my foot, going? So many PSI 
is going to the dirt and pretty much on the pipe. pipe. So we're relying basically on the structural integrity of the pipe, the mm -hmm. thickness of the, the metal or the stiffness of the plastic or maybe concrete, which is obviously a lot stronger. But you're essentially saying, we're gonna put all the weight on the pipe and not on the soil. And with the pipe here, it's pretty flimsy. Obviously, we see what happens here. So now we're gonna clean this out and we're gonna start over again with a different pipe. Same pipe, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a little compaction at this point. So um, let's just clean this pipe. Let's, let's clean the box up, yeah, um, clean some up Bob, and then we'll, uh, we'll start her over again. Yep. So we're back and we just cleaned the box out and here's our pipe that we took out. You can see that it got flattened pretty good. I don't think we'll be able to use that one again, Bob. Nope. So we cleaned it out, uh, cleaned our glass off a little bit and now we're just gonna, we're gonna compact things a little bit as we put stuff back in the box. So Bob, if you wanna start filling here, I'm gonna hold the pipe kind of in place and maybe if you could fill it up halfway around the pipe. You may have to turn your excavator speed up a little bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know who's putting this pipe in though, right? <laughs> Just do it by hand. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make noises as we go here too. <laughs> It's pretty bony material here. A little more? Or? Yeah, a little bit more and I'll, I'll, I'll... Like I said, it's pretty bony. I'll pound some sand, so to speak. <laughs> I didn't want to get up too far. Okay, this is our... I mean, this could be as simple as a little hand tamper, let alone a mechanical one. That's the, that's imitates the whacker. Yeah. All right, go for it. So while Bob's filling here, um, one could say, well, you know, we don't have a whacker available, or you know, we don't we don't have the money to to rent a mechanical one. Well, you, you can see here shortly what the impact of that's going to be. I mean, you could pretty much fabricate a hand whacker, just a metal plate, um, that would do the job for you. And, of course, in the future, if you did a lot of these things, it might be good to uh, at least rent a mechanical whacker once in a while. Put some more on your side. Yeah. See, I'm not really hitting this too hard either. I'm just trying to make sure it's all packed into place, especially right around the pipe. And when you do this, if you're doing this in the field, I mean, obviously the, the hardest place to get at is down on the haunches down here underneath because when you just backfill pipe without doing this, you end up maybe with some space under here and that's where all your pressure is for your pipe. It's, it's really exerted right here. And if you don't pack anything there, then there's no, uh, there's no ability for the, 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 uh, the loads to be transferred to the soil. Okay, Bob. Dump this slowly. We still got a round pipe. You dump and I'll spread. Okay, let me, uh, Back there and I'll give another lift. Yeah, we just barely have. I know, I don't, don't have a lot, but. Not a lot on top of the pipe here. I still got some more. Let me... Yeah, we'll get a little bit in there. And I'll come down this side and this side. All right. I'll put more on? Sure, Dutch. 
No, actually, the, I, I remember, we, we're going to get the same effect here, Bob, if, if you hadn't put that last load in. And it looks like we've got quite a bit of material here on top of the pipe. But it's really only, what do you think, two inches maybe? Yeah, it's not. I would not think you'd be able to stand on top of that without crushing it. Hmm. We could do this like a Mythbusters theme. <laughs> All right. What do you think, Bob? Done whacking? I'm done pounding sand. All right. Let's, uh, you get in position over here again. Okay. And I'm going to stand on top of this. Actually, I'm going to put both feet in if I can. All right. Now I'm going to What are we seeing down there? Any movement? No, actually not. Mr. Cameraman, do you see anything down there? No, just a round pipe. Just a round pipe? So here I am. I won't say how much I weigh <laughs> here, but let's say it's got a 2 in the beginning. And you can see that there's a lot of pressure put on that with 2 inches of material on top and nothing's moving. So what's that tell us, Bob? Compaction. Where's, compaction. where's all my, my so-called PSI, my pounds per square inch? Where is it going? It's going around the material that's going around the pipe. It's going around the pipe. Yeah. Onto this material there. So in other words, all of the stress from my feet here is being absorbed by the material, and the pipe is really just acting as a sleeve of material to carry water or something, maybe fish, through the, uh, through the pipe. But all my stress from tractor trailers and right. cement trucks and everything else is now being just transferred directly the to the material all around it. Yeah. I'm going to do that again. Okay? So with only an inch and a half of material on it, I think the point here is that it's hey. pretty visible. It's flimsy material, though. There's another pipe back there that you tried it on. That when you, when you don't do any compaction, this is what happens. And in the field, even though this may be a 24 inch pipe with whatever, 12 gauge, that over time, with the pressure of the trucks going on top of this, it's going to get weakened. But because most of the weight is being taken by the pipe itself and not the soil. Here, this essentially says that you could put pipes in the ground that are that thickness with some sort of compacted material on the top, and what would happen? As long as the compaction, you're all set. The so the, the importance of compaction is that. So any sort of weight you put on it, as flimsy as it may right, be, is distributed. is distributed in the soil and right, not the not pipe itself. The pipe, right. So we don't have to depend on the structural gauge, right, the, 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 the thickness of the strength of the pipe itself. Right. Okay. Well, good. That's what we were trying to show today, and I hope this uh, makes you think maybe a little bit about when you put in your next pipe across your road that you decide to... Um, pound a little sand or do a little compaction or whatever you want to call it because I think you can see the benefits of uh, even minimal amount of compaction is going to buy you lots of time and lots of time in the future and it really isn't going to cost you really any additional money and it's, and it's not going to really take a whole lot more time to uh, put your pipes in. I've heard people say that, uh, well, you know, if we're trying to put in 10 pipes a day, we're only going to be able to put in six now if we have to do this. Well, sometime in the future, you're going to have to go back and probably take care of pipes like this. If you have the time to do it then, then you probably have the time in the beginning to do it right the first time. Right. So with that, uh, Pete and Bob signing off. Thank you very much from the state of Maine. Hope you enjoyed the, the, the little demo here. Thanks, Bob. Okay, thanks, Pete. See you later.